Today we will be doing ratios and using tape diagrams to help us with those. A tape diagram is used as a visual model that uses rectangles to represent parts of a ratio. I have set up a few problems so that if you're not too comfortable with ratios, that using tape diagrams will help solve these problems and help the process become a little bit more smoother. So. Our first problem is the ratio of boys to girls in Miss X's class is 5 to 7. There are 36 students total. How many girls are in her class? How many boys and how many girls are there more than boys? So what first we're going to do is we're going to write boys and girls. So our ratio is 5 to 7. So there's five blocks for the boys. And seven for the girls. And just count them to make sure that you have them. So now that we have all of our boxes, we are going to take our total of 36 students and we're going to divide that by the total number of boxes that we have, which is 12. So we're going to do 36 divided by 12, which is 3. And this number gives us the total of three, which we're going to put in every single individual box for both boys and girls. After we've done that, we now add up every single box, not together though, just individually for boys, and individually for girls. So there's a total of 15 boys. There's a total of 21 girls. So this answers our question for how many boys are in her class and how many girls are in her class. But it doesn't answer the question for how many more girls are there in her class than boys. So what we're going to want to do for that question is we're going to want to take, so there's 21 girls, and we're going to subtract that by the 15 boys to get 6, so that there's 6 more boys then there are girls. For our next problem, Shelly sold 460 shirts with a ratio of short sleeve shirts to long sleeve shirts being three to seven. How many short sleeve shirts were sold? How many long sleeve shirts were sold? So, all right, short. long and then what we're gonna do our ratio is three to seven so three boxes for short sleeve and seven boxes for long sleeve and then we're gonna do kind of the same thing we did for the other problem so we have 460 total shirts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 460 and divide it by the total number of boxes that we have, which is 10. And that comes out to 46. So in each individual box, we're going to put 46. And then we're going to add up for short sleeve and we're going to add up for long sleeve in each box. Which for short sleeve it's 138 and for long sleeve it's 322. So that answers our questions for how many short sleeve shirts were sold and how many long sleeve shirts were sold. Which is 138 and 322. So for our last problem we have at the zoo, Tom and Callie 
Kelly, sorry, saw a total of 180 zebras and hippos. With the ratio of zebras to hippos being 4 to 5, how many more hippos than zebras did Tom and Kelly see at the zoo? So, we're going to do zebras and hippos. We're going to, so the ratio is 4 to 5. So, four boxes for zebras. And five boxes for hippos. And then our total was 180 zebras and hippos. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that by our total number of boxes, which is 9, which equals 20. So we're going to put 20 in each box. And then we're gonna add those all up, which there's 80 total zebras and 100 total hippos. But that doesn't answer our question. Our question was, how many more hippos than zebras did Tom and Kelly see at the zoo? So what we're gonna do is just subtract the number of hippos to zebras, which is 20. So they're at that zoo that day, they saw 20 more hippos than they did zebras. This method showed us how we can use tape diagrams to model and interpret ratios. This is just a small piece of what we can do with tape diagrams and as math becomes more complex we can also interpret tape diagrams into these problems.